there she is right off the uh, build plate or cut plate, whatever you want to call it. So um, you guys might notice I'm using screws this time instead of the clamps. Um, it's just something new I'm trying. Uh, the clamps can be kind of a hassle sometimes. So we're going to try screws and see, uh, see how that goes. It's just a lot easier and quicker. So it's really the right thing to do in my opinion. So, all right. So now what I'm going to do here guys is uh, now that I've got this all cut off, I sanded my tabs off on the, uh, I got a, a belt sander out in the garage. Tabs sanded off pretty easy. I'll probably give the whole thing another quick sanding once I'm, I'm done. But um, I added this little notch here for the USB port to plug into the PCB. And uh, overall, I'm very, very happy with how this turned out so far. So now what I'm going to do is use these little threads here. And these are meant for 3D printers. And what this is going to do is going to it's going to let me have threads in these little holes here. And they're meant to be put in with a soldering iron. And you just put the thing in there and then put, push it down with a soldering iron and it melts into the plastic. However, I'd like to use it in the walnut here. And if I did this right, we should be able to just place it on top here, lay it flat, and I should be able to just hit these with a hammer. And they should be able to just kind of snug right in there. Might get a little camera shake. Heads up here. Oh, look at that. How about that? So now I've got a nice flush thread. Let's just test this out real quick here. Let's see how strong this is here. Beautiful. I can't. I, I stall out the screwdriver, which doesn't doesn't take much to be honest. But I think that's going to hold plenty for the aluminum plate. So I was going to try soldering these in or like kind of burning them in, but I think we're going to be, I think we're going to be good here. So I'm going to get the other three in real quick. All right. And there we have it looking uh, pretty good so far. All right, guys. This is uh, this is it. This is the plate, and um, I just got done cutting it, and I just went ahead and took it out to the garage, and it needed a little bit of cleanup. Um, you might have noticed from the video that I did get a little bit of burring on the inner part of the switch openings as well as the edge. So what I did was I took it out to the garage and cut off the tabs and cleaned up the sides a little bit, and overall, I think this turned out pretty good. Um, this is going to, I'll still need to clean this up a little bit to get a nice finish on it, but I think I'm going to use it for now. And uh, overall, I think the MPCNC did a pretty, pretty good job of uh, cutting this guy out. Um, it did take uh, a couple, 
couple tries, but you know, that's how it goes. So uh, just uh, learn from each mistake and keep moving on. So um, I finally got some good settings here, or good enough anyway for now. Um, here is the enclosure that I've cut out, and this is pretty satisfying to see these two pieces come come right together. So we'll just kind of snug up the edges here. It is it is very very close. So my holes don't line up. Actually, they line up pretty good. The lower left one here might be a little off, but uh, you know we'll still get screws to go through. So. Overall, this is looking really good. You know, I'll have to do some finishing to get rid of some lines here, but uh, it is it is coming along nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my switches mounted in here, and then get the PCB in, and then we will have a working uh, a working numpad here. So so yeah. All right. So here is um, the plate all assembled. So. Just as a quick refresh, this is a uh, novel pad from uh, Novel Keys, and this is a hot swap macro pad, basically numpad. I'm using it as a numpad. So these switches push into the PCB, and the, the PCB is kind of just floating here. It does have some mounting holes. If you wanted to integrate that into the case, I might do that someday. But that's a little little fancy for me right now. So this works just fine. So now we'll go ahead and mount it in the in the case. All right, and there it is, fully assembled. Overall, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, I still got to finish it. All right, so I just got back in from the garage and I went ahead and threw some uh, some spray lacquer on the case here, which turned out pretty good. And then I went and tried something I've never done before, and that is brushing up the aluminum here. And this, I think, turned out great. Uh, it almost looks like a factory-made part. So I just... When I, we're not going to show the backside. There's nothing to see there. Um, I looked at some uh, YouTube videos to see how to brush aluminum, and I used uh, 220 in one direction, and then I also used a uh, Scotch Bright pad in one direction. Uh, after that, I still got a little nick here, which I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get out. So it's not perfect, but it still looks pretty, pretty good in my opinion. So we will do the final assembly here now. All right, and here it is, guys, all put together. Overall, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, the end grain here doesn't quite want to soak up the spray lacquer, but it's not, not the worst thing in the world. Uh, overall, very happy with this. And uh, the only thing I'll probably do is throw some bumpers on the bottom, and then it will be uh, in business. I am going to play with the angle a little bit since this is so tall. I'll probably have to angle it up quite a bit, but that is no problem at all. I might print something to, to angle it up. So uh, if you if you made it this far, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, feel free to subscribe if you like. I hope to do more projects like this in the future, and we will see you around. Thanks.